What's up guys? Today, taking a look at this fuzz face, having some problems with it, tried a bunch of different transistors and it's still uh, gating and kind of like spitty and I, I don't like that. Maybe you guys do, but I don't. So I did a bunch of research on it and what we're looking at, if you remember my other video, we talked about finding the gain, the HFE of a transistor. There's also such a thing called beta. Beta is essentially HFE, but it's the DC current gain. And you'll look at the small h with the capital FE. That is HFE, but it's greater than the one that has the capital H with the small FE. The capital H with the small FE is a transistor's AC current gain. So simply put, just stick your transistor in your Harbor Freight or whatever ohmmeter you have and get your value, put that value with that resistor somewhere else because you're going to need it later on. Okay, so right here I'm bringing up this schematic. Now it's okay if you don't know what a schematic is or how to read it. What we're focused on is Q1 here and Q2. They're using a BC108 on each. This is a NPN such as the build that I'm doing and you might be doing. What we're concerned about is the three resistors. One is going to be at R1, 2, and 3. And if you remember the values from my other videos, 33 kilo ohm, uh, 330 ohm, and 8.2 kilo ohm. With that said, we're going to come over here to this picture, which is another schematic. This happens to be the germanium type because it's the AC128. And you can also note it by this capacitor at C1. This is our 2.2 microfarad it's reversed so this line should be over here this one should be over here the plus sign should be on this side these negatives represent negative voltage because it has a positive ground we're not going to concern ourselves about that we're going to concern ourselves with Q1 and Q2 we're also going to concern ourselves with the voltage at Q1 and the voltage at Q2 along with the voltage at the 8.2 uh, kilo ohm right here which is 8.7 volts so now here's a website that's going to be very useful for you and we'll go over to the ohm meter in a little bit but right now these are my values here's Q1's beta HFE of 410 now you want your lower HFE to be in Q1 spot and you want to select silicon and silicon for both Q1 and Q2. My other transistor is 425. All we're going to do is I'll click reset. So this is what you're going to see. So we're going to type in 410 and 425. We're going to click calculate. That's going to give you R1's kilo ohms resistor R2's and R3's and if you read here it says this calculator lets you plug in some values and it'll pick the right R1 to bias the circuit correctly and that's my problem right now I have an unbiased Q1 and the voltages are way off on the collector on Q2 it's kinda close but it's thrown the whole thing off. So let's take a look at the multimeters now. Okay, so here is an auto range um, multimeter. You're going to want to set that to DC because that's how we're going to take our DC voltages on our board. Over here, as you can check out my last video with the checking of the transistors, to get the HFE, you set that on HFE. Check that video out. But right now we're gonna check out how to 
get these voltages and check them. So first off, you're going to need your mono cable. You're going to have to plug that into your pedal. Once that's plugged in, the other end goes nowhere. Now this case is grounded, so I'm going to take the black lead from my multimeter and I'm going to stick it right in that hole. Multimeter is grounded. Now we can see our multimeter and we can see our circuit board. Here's our 2.2 microfarad. This is the positive side and if we touch here you'll see we're getting a 0.68 or 0.686 volts. Moving over here this is Q1. That's upside down so if you remember flat side left leg is the emitter upside down it's going to be on the right side so here's our emitter our base and our collector we're going to want to touch the collector you can see we're getting 3.74 volts that's way too high that's far far off of 0 0.7 over here on Q2 this one has the flat facing up so our emitter is on the left this is base in the middle and this is our collector and then we touch that and we can see that is 3 volts so we're shy 1.4 uh, or 1.5 volts alright so with everything that was discussed here I'm gonna link down below the website that you can punch in your HFE values and then also I'm gonna update and I'm gonna include some more um, files on Mediafire so be sure to download the new files that I compre or compiled so you have the correct information and you don't run into the same mistakes I am